Hi everyone, this is Ants. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to install Godot Kotlin JVM. And let's get started. Go to your search engine, type in Godot Kotlin, push enter. Go to the top, and that's the main home page. And from the main home page, we're going to open up a couple other tabs that we need to download stuff from. The first is the GitHub repo, where we're going to get the editor binaries. And the other one is the minimal project template, which is the preferred way to start uh, using Java. But there's other two other ways that you can use if you're just using Kotlin. So let's open that link too. Okay. So from here, we want the binaries of the editor. And so we don't have to actually do anything with GitHub. We just have to go to the latest releases and download uh, the release version of our platform. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna choose uh, the Windows uh, release, right? And click on it and it downloads. And since I'm here, I might as well download the export uh, templates so that I export to iOS and Android and Linux and Mac and all that. Um, but I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but I'm, since I'm here, I should download it uh, because you have to pair the templates version with the editor version. So I might as well download it. So I'm downloading it. Okay. Lastly, uh, the actual project template that has an example project for both Kotlin and Java classes. Um, and so I'm just going to download the zip because it's much easier to do and download that. So basically I've downloaded all the things I need so I could go to the file explorer and let's start um, extracting everything so here's the editor and here's the project template and that's basically it so basically we're done all the downloading and the exploding now we could just run the editor so we double click that we're going to get a warning saying hey i don't know this file and basically you run anyway and that's the only time you're going to get that uh, warning and as you can see, we're at the project uh, manager uh, in Godot. From here, now we got to import that downloaded uh, example project template. So we're going to import that, right? And it's on the D drive in development, downloads, uh, Kotlin project template. And here's the project. And let's import and edit. And it's going to import the project just like a regular Godot project. And over here, it's a, basically a 2D scene and it has four labels. Two of the labels are using Kotlin source files and two of the labels are using Java. There's two different types of ways to link your Godot nodes to the source. It's either using a GD, a GDJ file or the actual source. I'm not going to get into that. It's in the documentation. But the recommended way is using the GD, GDJ file. Um, way right so when you see exclamation points after you import it it means you need to do a build and it's actually compiling uh, the Java and Kotlin um, source files and it's done and as you can see everything is good now and it's good to go to run the project and basically this is a very simple project it actually just links uh, some uh, um, some labels to Java code and Kotlin code that basically just print, hey, hello, I'm written in Java or I'm written in Kotlin. That's all it basically does, okay? So um, <clears throat> you shouldn't actually do your actual coding uh, in uh, Godot, but you could actually view the source in, uh, in Godot. So you could you view the source, but it's just there as uh, a nice to have. You shouldn't do your actual uh, development. You can't do your development in the Godot editor. You should use IntelliJ. So that's where we're going to go. So I'm going to close all and let's go to IntelliJ. Now I need to import the same project that I imported in Godot, but I import it now into IntelliJ. It's very similar to the VS Code type uh, C Sharp uh, setup and workflow. Okay. So we're going to open and we're going to import the Godot Kotlin project template master. That's the one, right? I got some warnings here because my JDK is too far ahead. It's actually 22, but I should be at uh, 17 using the current Gradle build. 
I should turn on Windows, uh, Microsoft Defender to make things faster, but I'm not gonna do that because this is just a demo I'm doing for you guys, right? So when you have this loaded, one thing you need to do is for only one time is set up the actual uh, Godot Kotlin JVM plugin. So you go into plugins and you make sure you type in plugins, you type Godot Kotlin, this shows up, make sure you install it. And that's basically it. Once you have that installed, you're going to get a couple of goodies. One of the goodies is it's going to help with the annotations and with um, giving you some visual cues on which ones are overridable functions, which ones are scripts and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, this is not the point of the video. The video is installation only. So uh, let's uh, test everything out here. <coughs> so this is basically a Java Kotlin Gradle project. Um, and the source of the Java is here. And I am gonna change this to this is ants, right? And save. And let's see if we can build this and uh, on the Godot side. So let's go to the Godot and do a build. And click OK. And let's run this and we should see my name. OK, my screen is too big. Uh, it's 4K and I apologize, I should have made the, the fonts bigger, but if you can see, it says this is ants. So the modification I made in IntelliJ is showing up in Godot. I did the full kind of life cycle of development at a high level and you could stop the video here, but there's two other ways to generate Kotlin projects and very easy to make them Java projects. And if you want to know that, then stick around and I, I'm going to go through it right now. Okay. So uh, if you actually just generate a project in Godot and you want to actually make it enabled for Java uh, and, and or Kotlin, actually it's Kotlin, right? Is basically you go to uh, tools, project tools, Kotlin JVM and generate JVM project and generate all files. I don't want to do it because it's going to overwrite all my stuff that I have in my current project, but on a blank project, like a brand new project, it would generate everything you need that will allow you to import it into IntelliJ like I just did, right? So that's another way of doing it. The only caveat is it doesn't actually have the Java source folder. It just has the Kotlin one, but to actually add it to the project is actually quite easy. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. So that's the second way. And that's, I like this way because you stay in uh, the Godot, Godot editor uh, more, right? So the other way, and by the way, uh, um, all you really need to do is add a hierarchy of the Java project to the main, and it will automatically build the Java as a Java project and the Kotlin as a, as a, as a Kotlin, right? It's, it's all the same, but there is another third way to generate uh, a Kotlin template. And then you could add the Java source folder is, um, using the actual uh, plugin generator. So you go to new project, and as you can see for generators, now the plugin basically says, hey, you wanna create a Co Godot Kotlin JVM? And you have to fill in all this uh, information here, like the group ID, artifact ID, version, and all that kind of stuff. And if you need Android support, you click on that. Uh, IO, uh, iOS needs Graal VM, uh, uh, VM. And I think also the Mac version also needs this. But again, this is advanced stuff. I may get this into this in a separate video, uh, but it's advanced stuff. But to just to create the, the desktop versions like Mac, Linux, and Windows, you just click on next and you put the project location and all that kind of stuff and just go create. And it creates the template again for you. The only thing that you don't get is uh, the Java folder and all you need to do is just go create new folder and follow the same kind of uh, hierarchy and then you're good to go, right? So that's basically it. Um, those are the three ways that you can generate templates. What I recommend uh, for people who are using Java, just use the template that I basically showed you at the beginning that you download. And the reason why is it's really good because it not only sets up the, the Gradle project perfectly with Java, but it also gives examples of how to use um, Java and attach it to uh, that script to uh, any node. That's the label node. Let's go back here. 
the label node, and it also shows you the difference of the two types of formats that you could do the linkages between uh, the node and um, Java and or Kotlin is using the GDJ uh, uh, kind of format, which is kind of like a glue. It's like a, a um, and, and it's actually generated on the build. This this is actually generated on the build, or you could actually link it to the Java source. They recommend you use the GDJ. And the reason why is outside the scope of this video, and this video is already too long, so I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay? So yeah, uh, that's how easy it is to install. I know it's a 10 minute video, but honestly, once you do it the first time, it's like, okay, this is a no brainer. And if I can do it, you can do it, okay? Thanks and have a great day, bye.